I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2022 Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision making through the Charleston. You can exponentially improve your dealt hand if you make the right decisions at the right time. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll be east for each one and we'll roll the dice to determine which seat is prevailing. For the first one, nine, that would be east. So we're going to put a one up on the dice. one and we're going to get 14 tiles and create a mock Charleston. We have an east red and white dragon 259 in dots one, two, three, seven, nine in bams, four, nine in cracks with a pair of nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play a hand of honors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tiles that can be used in that category. Those would be the discards. I think what I would do here is keep BAMs because that is a predominant suit. So I would pass those three. Focus on honors and terminals. Ones and nines would be the terminals. Winds and dragons would be the honors. Maybe if BAMs come in, we can switch. Let's pass these three. We got a nine, that is a terminal and a pair now. This is when we have to make the decision. Do we wanna focus on winds, dragons and terminals or go with BAMs? Since we have two pairs of nines, I would focus on hands of honors. There are a lot of different hands we could try here. Let's pass three, eight, and two. One of each suit. Red dragon. We did get a pair in here. We do have a pair right here, seven, nine, but we still have a pretty good chance at a nice hand of honors. Let's pass, ooh, two sevens. Hmm, one nine. I think let's discard an east. Focus on dragons and terminals. That way we're not passing two sevens. Green dragon. Now we have one of each of the dragons, well, and a pair. And we have three discards, well, four discards. Four discards. And let's see what hand we could maybe play here. You really don't even have to look at the book until you run out of discards. So I wouldn't pick a hand yet until these are gone. But if we had to pick a hand, Maybe we could play wins in terms. It says five pairs of wins and terminals, each dragon one paired. We have the dragons with one paired, and then we have two pairs of terminals. So we really need some pairs of wins and maybe more pairs of terminals here. Wins and terminals. 
We could also maybe try for heavenly hash, four pungs and a pair of honors and or terminals. We could pung, pung, pung. Heavenly hash. There's always heavenly twins, seven pairs of honors, including terminals. We could also maybe try for honorable hash, ones and nines in each suit with four pairs of winds and or dragons. I think that's a long shot. Just cut that out. Okay. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull one and what you would have done. Let's roll for the next one. I rolled a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So for the next one, south will be prevailing. We have east and west, white and green dragon, one, four, nine in dots, four, five in cracks with a pair of fours, four, five, six, eight in bams, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would keep the fours. So I would keep the five crack and I would keep the other fours, maybe even four, five, six. There is a chow hand in the mixed suit category. Maybe we could play sukiyaki. Four, five, six in each suit with news and one win paired. Or I was thinking maybe double numbers or tri numbers. Double numbers is two pungs of the same number and two suits with a pair of Windsor Dragons. We could do four, five, four, five. Or we could do all fours. I would pass those three and see what happens. Did I read tri numbers? Pungs of the same number in each suit. Pung and a pair of winds or a pung and a pair of dragons. Let's start by passing these. We got an eight and a north. We almost have news. Oh, here's a six. Four, five, six, four, five, six. Let's pass the eight and maybe the dragons. We almost have Sukiyaki. Four, five, six in each suit. Okay, we need a five dot and a six dot. Oh, that's going to be a bit risky, but I think we should do it. That's a risky pass. Two dragons. Nines. Oh my gosh, and a nine. Yikes. Oh, four. We really could have gotten rid of that. Maybe we could pass those three. Four, five, six. This would have been better if we had passed the four. I got it a bit mixed up in there. One, two, seven, one, one, two, seven. Okay, let's just put them in order. Three, four, four news. I think I would still try for sukiyaki, four, five, six in each suit. Maybe discard the two, nine, and see if one of these builds up, because we might be able to switch to news lineup in one of these suits.
If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with poll two. For the next one, south is going to be prevailing again for the sake of the exercise. White and green dragon, south, one, three, seven, and bams with a pair of ones, six, nine, and dots, three, five, eight, nine, in cracks with a pair of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think that I would keep the terminals and the predominant suit, which is cracks. Pass those three. If cracks come in, play one suit and honors. If terminals come in, focus on a hand of honors. Let's pass these three. We have honors, red, west, five bam. The predominant suit is cracks, so I would let this go. I would keep the one and nine for a hand of honors. We do have potential here for Betty. Betty with these simples, two through eight. We need three pair with seven odd honors and one honor paired. We're going across, so we have to pass. Let's streamline and go with a suit and pass these. South, one, one, four, one, one, four. I think I would make this pass a little bit safer We got a three and a white. So we have two pair now. I would go for Betty. We have an extra pair in here. We could also maybe play Dazzle if we get more cracks. So I think what I would do is probably let those three go and focus on Betty or maybe Dazzle. If you would have done something differently, write pull three and what you would have done with these tiles. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them in suit and in numerical order, and then put your winds and your dragons together. The next step is to identify the predominant pattern. A guideline that I've been told by my mom when she taught me how to play when I was young. Okay, that's too much. Three, two, one. When you first get your dealt tiles, put them in suit and in numerical order and then put your winds and dragons together. Identify the predominant pattern. If you have seven tiles towards any given category, focus there while you're making decisions through the Charleston to improve your dealt hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.